constant innovation. Unparalleled education. Groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Former Navy spokesperson Commodore DKP Dasanayake, who was arrested in the connection with the disappearance of 11 youths during the period from 2008 to 2009, was transferred to the Colombo National Hospital from the prison's hospital last night due to an illness. A few parliamentarians visited the former Navy spokesperson at the National Hospital today. All the doctors in the prison hospital said he should be taken to the Navy hospital. But then, without doing what the doctors said, prison officials kept the former Navy spokesperson in an ambulance until 5.30 in the late afternoon yesterday. Prison officials kept forcing doctors to change their decision about transferring him to the Navy hospital. Ignoring all their instructions, what the prison officials did was to admit the former Navy spokesperson to the Colombo National Hospital. This is unethical and illegal. Prison officials did this because the minister influenced them. He is in a condition where he needs to undergo a surgery. A UN Special Rapporteur came to Sri Lanka and they needed something to show him on the newspapers about how they arrested military officials who committed crimes during the war. That's the reason why they arrested the former Navy spokesperson Commodore Dasanayake in such an illegal manner. Prison spokesperson Tushara Upuldinia said to Adadarana that he received directives to transfer former Navy spokesperson Commodore DKP Dasanayake to the Navy hospital in Balisara today. Meanwhile, former President Mahindra Rajapaksa visited arrested intelligence officers at the Valikada prison today. That's true. We are not satisfied with the situation when it comes to human rights. At least we were dealing with these things when there was a war. The problem here is that they can't solve these matters when we have already helped them by ending the war and paving the way for the country's development.